This is day 84 of trying to get to 2000 ELO on chess.com. My current rating is 1775 and I'm versing someone rated 1799. And my rating has dropped a significant margin. But um, I plan on uh, hopefully winning this game. And then uh, I'll just put my knight on d2, probably push a3, and then push c4 to try and get my knight into the game attacking his bishop. Um, if he doesn't take then I'm actually going to go here and block in my bishop to try and push uh, c5 to just take up more space. Push that now. And uh, I think I have to take this and um, and then just move my bishop, uh, stopping his knight from taking my bishop, but also stopping him from going here. And then I think I might try and get some type of knight trade because I want my bishop to be in a better spot. He's now attacking this weak pawn. So I will uh I'll quickly go here, moving my queen into a better position but also defending this pawn. Okay, he moves his knight. I was thinking of um just taking this, but I'll actually just push this pawn and uh attack his knight. And so it looks like he'll have to move his knight somewhere. Okay, he moves his knight back. Um, so I'll just continue with my plan, and uh, well, if I go here and his knight takes, I take. It, it's kind of dangerous because my king isn't castled, but I think it looks okay. His knight takes. He can't push this pawn yet because my bishop can just take, so I'm planning on castling on my next move if he allows me to. Okay, so I will uh, I'll castle now. I might also push b4. Pushing b4 would defend this pawn, and then if he were to take, uh, this pawn would be defending this other pawn. So pushing b4 in the future looks like a good move. I did see this move. Um, so now he's attacking my bishop. It's defended by his queen. I didn't really want to take. I felt like that wasn't a good move. I felt like, I feel like just letting him take is better for me. So maybe just uh, developing my rook uh, would be a good move. So that's what I'll do. And if he takes... And obviously my queen will just take. I guess he has this knight move. Um, so if I were to take that, he could take with this queen or with the pawn. I don't. I don't really want to take his knight. I'm a little crazy though. I will. Uh, I'll just take his knight. And he takes with the queen, which is kind of surprising because I have this move. I guess he's still able to do it. Like maybe he could pin my. But he decides to just go all the way back. So I think just doubling my rooks would be. Uh, good idea. Never mind. I'll go here though. I'm threatening mate. So I'll probably push this pawn. Um, maybe just... Maybe, why did he push that? That Pushing that pawn looks kind of weird. I feel like uh, I'll just have to start an attack. And I have, my rook isn't defended anymore. So I might have to move this rook back in the future. And he decides just to attack my rook. That looks like a weird, a weird move. I'll uh, I'll go back one square and then try and uh, get this pawn push in. So it looks like I have blundered a pawn, and so I'm probably losing a little bit. Although his position looks kind of weak, uh, I'm de I'm definitely losing, but it's not the game isn't com completely over. His queen is now attacking this pawn. So if I push this pawn, um, it doesn't really. I feel like it just doesn't really do that much, but I think that's like my only move, really. Um, and he decides to push. I'll move my queen over here. Uh, if I go over here, then his queen is able to take this, and then I could take this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go here. He's able to take this pawn, but I can take this pawn. And the idea is is that I'm threatening this, but I'm also threatening this pawn push because once he takes, I can then take this defended by my queen. So. Unless he has a move that I'm missing here, um, he decides to move his rook defending this pawn. But I wasn't really actually trying to take the pawn. I was trying to push this. I'm still I'm still losing because okay he he attacks my rook. Ooh, I'll go I'll go here. Um, if he takes it with his queen, that that might be a really good move. I would have to probably put my rook. But if he takes it with his pawn, I'm thinking of going here. Uh, he takes it with his queen. So I'll have to go here then, attacking his queen. And then I'm thinking of uh, pushing this pawn and getting my rook 
um, to his second rank. So I'm thinking he's probably going to move his queen. And then I kind of want to push this pawn and then maybe he'll challenge my rook. I take his rook takes and then I could threaten mate with because my pawn is here. Okay, so he moves his queen. So here's the plan. Um, I'm going to push this pawn. He's, he's going to challenge my rook. Uh, I'm going to take his rook takes. And then I'm going to go here threatening mate. My opponent has moved their queen attacking this pawn. I'm going to go here. Um, if he takes this, then I'm thinking of going here. Actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If he takes this pawn, then I can just go here. So he can't take this pawn. And I think he kind of just lost... He kind of just lost his queen here because of check. And then queen takes, king takes. So I'd have to say that this is probably my best move. And I should be up uh, three points of material. No, oh, sorry, I'm only, I'm only up one point of material. Um, I'll give him this check. Okay, his king moves. Um, I'll go here, threatening this check. He does have this check, but I can just move my king and I should be fine. Um, so maybe, maybe defending this. Although that doesn't look like a good move because I'm threatening this check. Yeah, I think I won the game because his pieces are just so, they're just in the, like, it's like they're just in the corner, not really doing anything. So I have this queen check and his king is just in a terrible position. Okay, he moves his, uh, he moves his rook. So I'll give him this check. And then I think I have to give him uh, this check. And I'll basically, I'll probably just keep checking him um, until uh, until I can't anymore. Maybe I'll, I will, uh, maybe I'll go here and uh, basically just try and move my rook here. He'll probably move this rook there. Okay, instead he goes for a rook trade. I honestly, I don't really, I don't really want to trade rooks. I kind of just want to put this rook here and win the game. He does have this check. I can still just move my king. Okay, he's attacking my queen. I'll go here. And then I will get my rook to his second rank. And then uh, I have this check. Well, not anymore. So I'll move my queen. Okay, so he's pushing uh, this pawn down the board. But I will, uh, I'll threaten this. He actually has no way of defending this pawn. Because he can't move his rooks. So he could he could like push the pawn, but that just uh that just leads to mate. I think it's I think it's actually forced mate here. Um yeah, there's nothing there's nothing he can do. Because I can just go check here, checkmate, or king goes here, then checkmate. So this is just mate. Okay, my opponent resigns. I played with an 85.8% accuracy, my opponent played with an 80.2% accuracy. So one of my mistakes was um, I actually just blundered this pawn. The computer says what the move I played was fine, but uh, yeah, I just I shouldn't have blundered this pawn. And when I uh, pushed this pawn, I wasn't anticipating him uh, to go here, and that that cuts off my queen's diagonal of this pawn, but also attacks my rook. So I miss I completely missed that move. But thankfully, my opponent uh, blundered this check and uh, allowed me to be up one point of material after all of the trades. My rating is now 1784, percentile 99.6, and I have 1901. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.